five to seven in the evening, and I am doing one of the most entertaining tasks in the world, ironing. Welcome to another episode of Trophy Stupid Vlog. Pretty good. That's what I have done. This is what I haven't done. So it's moderate success, I would say so far. I have I have achieved two things today. Number one, I don't know if you can see down there as an aerial socket. Um, brilliant. It, it should work as well. And and actually, I've achieved one thing then. Oh well, you know, it's not a bad start. I mean, the, the whole whole evening is in front of me. We're going to go out for a meal in a moment, so the second thing I'll achieve is eating. Welcome to a very windy Sunday. I'm going to, have to go for a drive in a new car. Ideally to somewhere where it's not quite so freezing. Because it's really windy. I'm oh, trying to eat an apple at the same time. <laughs> right, I'm getting in now. What the sign says. So... This big lake here is Virginia water and we're going to go for a bit of a wander around to the punch bowl which is a nice bit of grassland around to the right here. This All of this is Bob Windsor Great Park and it kind of goes on into the woods for miles that way. So the sun's come out which is perfect. So this is the totem pole at the bottom of the Valley Gardens, it's quite impressive. Well, it's very impressive. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, it just keeps going. It goes up to there. It's nuts. So we're going to head that away. So there's a lot of things out at the moment. Lots of different rhododendrons and various sort of magnolia-y things and some blossoms. Some very, very pink things. This is the kind of the daffodil valley and there's still quite a few daffodils out, mainly the paler ones. Very nice. There's some azaleas over there. It's like a floral update. It's about taking pictures of daffodils. I forgot my camera, which is very good work. This is unsurprisingly called the Cascade because it's a, well it's a cascade isn't it, it's a waterfall. So that's water coming out of old Virginia water and then it runs down and goes under the main road eventually around there. It's very nice. We've gone one half of the lake and we're now going around the other half to look for the the ruins. Yes. These are the ruins. Well that those are the those bits which aren't very impressive. These are some rocks which aren't very impressive. And then this I mean, this looks like a Roman forum, and they're very impressive, but are they real? Feel free to guess. My guess is no. My guess is they're not real, or they're not from here, they've been moved. We'll see. It's like walking through Rome, if Rome were a lot smaller. So the short answer is, yes, they are original Roman ruins, but they are not from here. They're from Libya. In fact, they're from, the, they're from very near Tripoli, originally. And they were moved here in the 1800s. So they were given as a gift. And they were restored and reopened a couple of years ago. So imagine walking through Libya and you might have seen these. Now they're near Egham. The outskirts of stains. <laughs> Surreal. That's the top of the cascade. <laughs> Goes down there. So we're heading back now. 
That was fun. Nice day out. Nice spring day. And, uh, yeah, great mixed weather, but very, very enjoyable. If you're a big fan of Korea, that, well, that's where you need to be, they are. I don't know what's going on. I never do. I'm going to Boots because I feel ill. And this needs to be avoided, otherwise Rick Simmons will be furious. Plus I'm going to be seeing Ludlow later on, at least that's the plan. So we shall see. He's apparently ill too. This is going well. Good night. Good night. Just wanted to prove that we'd actually been through a grey door. Look, look. There it is. It's an actual door. Right. Onwards. It'd be very good cucumber water. Filming. Certainly. Can you stop filming? <laughs> you might do it any second. No, all right, let me just think what I'm going to say to him which way. So, you're not filming. What are you filming now? I'm, I'm, I'm recording the sounds. You have to react. Tom's coming off okay. Nick's coming off a bit weird. <laughs> I realise that. I question if he's that good, why is he not in a fucking band? <laughs> it's a reasonable request. Here we are, another week, another billion dollar documentary update. Yeah, well, so far, um, yeah, we just, not happened really. Uh, we had the initial idea last week that, you know, we wanted to, uh, to earn a billion dollars in... 551 one days and uh, it's, it's work in progress uh, I've bought a couple of lottery tickets um, I was going to make a, I was going to make a donation to the official billion dollar fund well, that's pro actually that's a way to oh that's a good start yeah. that's so that's that's equivalent to one dollar sixty yeah. so you only need nine hundred and ninety nine thousand no nine hundred ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars and forty cents more go. yeah Look, it's a start. Yeah. It's, it's, it's earning. Any any successful businessman will tell you it's getting you know your first foot on the ladder. It's that first one dollar sixty. Yeah. But once you got that, money makes money. Exactly. I, I use this. You can. <laughs> to, um, you can risk it all. Exactly. It's not my money. You know. Yeah. Well, it, no. It. Yeah. Thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Mars bar on the way home with that. Uh, no, but seriously, uh, we're, we're going to do it. Um, I've come up with an idea, really. Um, prostitution? No. Mm, no. Um, it, you're, you've got to come up with the next big app. It could be. It could be a location aware app. It could be the first hooker aware app. So where is the nearest hooker? Uh, yes. Um, I mean, sex is one of the old, oldest industries in the world. Yeah. There's a lot of perverts out there. <laughs> yeah. Out or in here. Or in here. Yeah. Not in here now, but generally out there in the yeah. office. There's a lot of guys that pretend they're happily married. And really they're Martin Bruce, and it's just sad. Well, I never said that. You did. I, I did. I on the tape. <laughs> um, yeah, Martin Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we'll check in next week and see if you've made money with your $1.60. Okay. Yeah, so I can't, you know, I haven't got much more to say yet, but I've still got 540-something days, so I'm not worried yet. You know, no. <laughs> to me in about 500 days. And if you've got nothing then, then... Uh, and we're really in the shit. Mm. Yeah. Um, anyway, California Girls is next by Katie Perry. It's great news. Welcome to the inside of Meat Liquor. In the dark. Michelle, Michelle's drinking wine out of a jam jar. Just hanging out with my jam jar. Nice. This is nice. Like you've got That's beer. Up. That's beer too. See how much. Is this going on your floor? Yes. I'm going this time. I'm. There we go. <laughs> but you've already done a leaving vlog. I know. Michelle, Michelle tried to leave, but she failed. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't leave. No. So here is the food. Neil's going to illuminate it momentarily. There we go. There it was. Do you see it? 
Burger, 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 chili fries, onion rings the size of my face. Now I'm going to eat it, and I can't do that and hold the camera. <laughs> right, it's pissing down with rain, so Lindsay has got herself. As, that is superb. An Avatar branded poncho. Oh. Is it rubbing there for no one? Yeah, probably. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> You go and pick up Adrian and just, you know, he'll have to. Yeah, and your wings. If you run fast enough, do you think you can fly? Do you think you can fly with that if you run fast enough? <laughs> There's an Eskimo in the studio. <laughs> It's, it's actually Vino. I can hear lightning. Oh my God, I gotta go. Oh, Jesus. It said a bit of lightning, but I'm not looking forward to it. You see a cat halfway up that tree. It's been like this all day. It's now pouring with rain. 30 seconds ago it was sunny, and it keeps changing. And there's been thunder, and it literally is raining cats and dogs. How else did that cat get up there? Look at these two, they are hilarious. been watching me every time while I'm getting in the car, it's wet. Welcome to the fourth floor toilets. Best known for. <laughs> yes, that's right. Gregory Burns. Amazing. There's going to be some trouble after five. I've just been looking at the inside of the toilet. This one here. What's he done? Has he left a mark? <laughs> you need to see. Do we want to see? Yeah. So I was just going to give a, um, a, a toilet update, final one. So at about three o'clock today, I was made aware, our oh, bias and gentlemen, of what you've just seen uh, in the lavatory. Yeah, not me. No, the gentleman behind me currently. Um, and um, okay. we've sat here with, uh, with the boss. As Greg has been made aware of the fact that his picture is also in the lavatory. Yeah, I'm just going to get travel. Probably. Okay, yeah, no, nothing happening here. Um, and now every single person on the capital floor has one at a time been made aware of the fact that Greg has his picture in the lavatory. Um, and we don't know exactly who is entirely responsible for the photo. I mean, not the photographer. I mean, the person who cut it out and put it into the little frame. But I have a strong suspicion. We have our suspicion. And our suspicion is... No, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Don't, <laughs> don't, because that's... Is, 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 is whoever, not in this room. Yeah, yeah, whoever is behind Toby right now... Yeah. ...is who we think. Yeah. So you could leave... I suppose this going on YouTube. Yeah. Leave your guesses yes. in the comments below. Yes. Even if you don't even know us, right? Just guess some people. Just guess a name. Yeah. And stick it in the comments below. Yeah, there you go. But I'm, I'm pretty Con sure it's that person there. Yeah. He might even leave his own name in the comments below, and that would prove the point entirely. Exactly. Anyway, um, I'll now cut <clears> to a shot of Greg's annotation of his photo in the lavatory. Good day. So Greg has been kind enough to come in and I st <laughs> incidentally I still have no idea who's behind this but he's been kind enough to annotate now you probably can't see that but there we go enjoy your number two love London's number one <laughs> there we go so there we go there Greg Burns Memorial Toilet uh, has been fully crystal so there we go that is Greg Gate do as Mr Bentley says Let's put who you think the artist may be in the comments below and I'm going to go home and cook some paella and that is all for this week so good day and have fun